A good old declutter can make a massive difference to your mindset and make it much more manageable to be in your own space. And the same can be said for your digital life. I'm Jake from Curry's PC World and here are my top tips for a digital spring clean. So first things first, check your downloads folder. Anytime you take anything from the internet, it goes straight into this folder. So even if you use something once, you might find that it's still in there, cluttering up space and looking a bit overwhelming. So anything you do use, put into a clear folder with a label. Anything you don't use, delete. While you're at it, check your trash or your recycling and clear that too. You might even find that you speed up your machine. Next one's a big one for me, go through your photos. You might find that you have hundreds of photos, many of them are failed selfies or blurry pics of your pet. So clear the ones you don't care about and the ones you do care about, you can either use an external hard drive for some great ones from companies like Seagate, or if you want a cloud-based solution, the Google Drive or the Microsoft OneDrive work just as well. The next one's a little bit more serious. I'm talking about passwords. Now, I've been guilty of it in the past and I know that it's tempting to use the same password for everything, but it really isn't safe. So the solution to that is a password manager. Now, most browsers nowadays have one. If not, there's services like LastPass and all they do is offer a secure place that'll store all your passwords for all your accounts so that you can use strong, unique ones for every service. While on the subject of passwords, you might as well check if your old ones are still secure. So there's a great website called Have I Been Pwned, which is a little bit of an interesting spelling, so I'm sure somebody will put it on the description or the screen for us. And basically it's a great free website that'll let you know if any of your, if your email address have been involved in any of the data breaches over the last few years. While we're managing our feed, it might be worth going through your socials and having a clear out of people that you follow or friend. We all have loads of people that we've met in random places or random celebrities that we used to like from some show. And actually what you find that is that it completely clogs up your timeline. So while we're cleaning up our feeds, it's worth doing the same with your social media sites. Now, I used to follow loads and loads of completely random people, some from when I was a teenager who I'm no longer interested in, and some people I just don't really know anymore. Uh, so what I did is I cleaned up my feed, I cleaned up my friends. It, it did take a little bit of time, just like the past one. Um, but now I've found that my content is much more tailored to me and it's a much more enjoyable place to be overall. So the next one hopefully will be helped a little bit by some of the previous tips, but I'm talking about notification management. Now, I used to leave my phone on the side for an hour, hour and a half. I'd come back to 30, 40 notifications, most of which I don't care about, push notifications from apps that I wasn't using, updates from people whom I didn't care about, or information from companies who I didn't care about, and it meant that I missed the stuff that I did. This is an easy problem to fix. Go into your phone settings and go to Notification Manager and you can scroll through and change the permissions of what can send you notifications and what can clog up your taskbars. And finally, do a bit of hardware management. So we're pretty deep in the tech age now and we've all got old bulky laptops and old bulky phones that we'll never ever use again. So get them all in one place and when this whole lockdown ends, you can come and trade them in with us or Carphone Warehouse, we'll clean them up or recycle them responsibly, and you might even get yourself a gift card out of it. So, hopefully this helps. I'm Jake from Curry's PC World. Stay home, stay safe, and we'll bring the tech to you.